painting the engine has to be delayed because one of the worst fears for anybody working on a classic motorcycle just happened to me. Stick around, I'll explain about it in a minute. Any of you who have worked on bikes that are 35, 37, or like this one, 38 years old, knows that these bolts in here are ridiculously brittle. You could sneeze at them and some of them will break. And I had the unfortunate event of having one of the exhaust studs break off inside the aluminum head here. <laughs> I was talking to Tony Cox on the phone the other day and he's like, you just need to throw that away. I'm a little bit more optimistic. I think I can get it out, but I know it's gonna take me a little bit. So I ordered a used head off of an 81 Honda CX500, which is essentially the same engine as the GL500. And I'm gonna replace that head with this one. So I'll have to take this head off, but I still believe I can get that stud out. I'm gonna do it in the vise with this off of the engine itself. It will be a little bit easier to get that out of there. I also feel like I wanna get going on this. If I have that other head, I can get moving on this project a little bit faster. It's time to take this head off. Let's go ahead and get to that. Did you a disservice or a favor, depending on how you want to look at it. It was actually a lot more difficult to take this head off than I showed on video just a moment ago. So I started out with just a rubber mallet 
and it's having a little bit of trouble with that. Then I switched to a block of wood and the rubber mallet and was still having trouble getting it off. Finally, I switched to the block of wood and a regular hammer and I gave it the beans and finally was able to get it off. But it was definitely a lot more difficult than I presented here. I've cleaned it up a little bit, but the valves that you can see on the intake here, the valve springs, the head itself here, it looks really good. Same with the piston and the area where the camshaft is. Man, for the age of this motorcycle, the number of miles, which was right around 52 or 53,000, and how long it sat, this motor looks amazing. I'm very pleased. I mean, I still have cleaned it up a little bit here, you can see, but man, this thing looks amazing. But as you know, I still have this broken exhaust stud bolt in here. So I bought a different head. This one is from a 81 CX500, essentially the same engine as, as this here for the GL500. This one's in rough shape. The intake here, you can see the valves inside here. They're fairly rusty. There's a lot of carbonization in and around the valves, especially on the inside of the head here. This 81 is also missing a few parts. There should be some locating dowels here that are on my 82. Those aren't there. This thing, there's just some other issues with it. It looks like it's been sitting around outside for a little bit. There's some rust on it. There's actually some dirt on it. It looks like they pulled it out of the ground. I'm gonna take the valves out, try and clean it up, clean up the head, but I don't think I'm gonna use it for this project. I'll clean it up and I'll go ahead and sell it. That means I get to deal with this broken stud in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw up my vise and I'm gonna drill the sucker out. Wish me luck, here we go. me a bit to get this exhaust stud out of that head so I thought I'd mention a few things before wrapping up this video one of them is I'm definitely gonna go with the original head the valves in it are just in such much better condition than the other one that I bought so I'm gonna keep working on this stud if I can't get it out I'll end up drilling it out and retapping which is not a bad thing the other thing is, I know you guys are very excited for me to paint that engine. And I'm excited too, but there's just a few things that are kind of holding that up. And it's like a lot of things in life. Just got to deal with what we need to deal with before we want to do something really fun. But I promise you, I'm going to be painting that engine soon and it's going to look brilliant. So if you found this video entertaining or helpful, please consider subscribing. If you haven't figured it out by now, this is not really a tutorial, it's more of a artistic way of showing how I'm going about learning how to do this. But if you have any questions at all, hit me up on Instagram or in the comments down below. I'll be free to answer any questions that any of you had. So thanks for watching everybody. Ride safe out there, be kind, and keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. I'll see you in the next video.